Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the comms prep with a short video on getting your soldering iron ready for a soldering project. I was actually getting ready for an antenna project for another video, making an antenna for my bug out bag, and that requires me to solder on a male BNC connector so I can connect the cable to the top of my handheld radio. And the connector I'm using is a solder on type, and you can see with a little hole here, when I strip the coax cable back, I'm going to need to slide this center pin over the center conductor of the coax cable, apply some heat, and put some solder in that hole to bond this tip to the center conductor. So before I can do this, I have to get the soldering iron ready for this project. And this process is called cleaning and then tinning the soldering iron tip. So if you look at the tip of the soldering iron, you'll see the top portion here has a silver section and that's where you want to do your soldering at so the first thing I do is I have a typical kitchen sponge and I cut some grooves in it and it's damp just with a uh, tap water and I'll go ahead and run the soldering iron through those grooves to clean off any excess solder pieces of wire or conductor lead from any previous projects the next two things I do is I have flux here and tip tinner and cleaner from radio both from Radio Shack and the tip tinner and cleaner here's the lid comes in a little aluminum case that has double-sided sticky tape so all I did was pull the double-sided sticky tape off and stick it to the lid of the flux so I can keep it all together so I'll get those laid out so the first thing I do is stick the soldering iron in the flux to clean off any excess material that might be there and then again run it through the sponge to clean off the tip and I give it a minute, second or two to warm up again and then I'll go ahead and I'll dip that in the tinning and cleaning solution and if you notice that tip now is very shiny it's all cleaned off but it's got excess solder on it so what I'm going to do is once again run it through the sponge to get the excess off and now it's shiny and all the excess solder has been removed so this is ready for a soldering project so this is what you got to do to get ready um, in a grid down situation we're not going to be able to run to the store and get a replacement soldering iron or soldering tip so taking care of the equipment we have is crucial especially in an emergency so at a minimum if you're going to be doing electronic soldering projects you should have a sponge some rosin flux and some tip tinner slash cleaner both from Radio Shack and again I'll put the part numbers down below in the description and of course you're going to need solder and I actually have two diameters of solder depending on the project so normally what I do is I'll have a bigger roll of solder and I'll pull off 10 or 12 feet wrap it around a pencil and I stick that solder in old prescription bottles I'll punch a little hole in the top and I can throw this in my bug out toolkit so I don't have to haul around a big heavy bottle or roll of solder so as always thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel this has been the comms prepper with a short video on Prepping your soldering iron for a soldering project.